Welcome back to another action figure review. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at the Joy Toys officially licensed Warhammer 40k Vanguard Space Marines Ultramarines and Cursors. This is going to be Brother Viren. These figures come in blind boxes, as you can see in front of you. Uh, this shows like a blue silhouette of the question mark because it's basically not giving any indication of what you're getting. On the bottom, we do have these all vintage scale figures. And we do have a statement here at the bottom. We can unbox and find which one you get amongst four styles. 12 centimeters, which is 118 scale. About four inches action figures with articulated joints. On the back of the box, it does show the four alternate versions you can get. Here's a look at the top of the box with the four uh, Warhammer 40k logo. Bottom of the box, same thing. Side of the box here, the logo and the name of the set. Copyright information there. If it interests you, pause and read that in your own time. Give you a couple seconds the opportunity to pause it. This side of the box has a bit more information uh, about the figures and materials, a product statement. Information from the company, warnings. These are for doll collectors and offer children on the age of three. Recommended for age of 17 and up. Here's a UPC. I don't think that can help you at all here in the United States, but it's there if that information helps you in this video. Here you can see the figure inside the clamshell. So while well, it's individually packed for all the accessories and the figure. Okay, here's Brother Veyron outside the packaging. Looks really cool. Take a look at that head sculpt. He has a visor, a red visor with a, a apparatus pretty much around his entire, from his, um, let's say like the top of his forehead all the way down to the bottom of his chin. Around here on the side, we have some, some metal looking, uh, got a metal coloring, the blue and some of the washes, the white wash that they use to lighten up some of the edges. On the back, it kind of cuts down to his, just around the bottom of his skull. Then he has some kind of wires that come out from the back of the uh, fixture and insert it into the top of his head. That's a lot of detailing, a lot of sculpting here. You can see down behind there, that looks really good. Then we have some kind of uh, device here. On the side, it's kind of lens, maybe camera, could be sensor. I'm not totally sure. If you know what that is, you can comment down below. Let us all know. So here on his chest, he does have two types of grenades. Here's a red stripe on this one. Maybe it's an incendiary, explosive grenade, grenade maybe. We do have the gold cross, uh, skull and crossbones. On his arms, we have the X with the Roman numeral 7. Then we have these upside down ohm symbol on his other shoulder pad with the gold trim. Pretty much the rest of his body is done in that blue with the white wash around the edges to bring out the, you know, to show some wear. Then underneath of his body suit, so we do have a tubing system type of uh, clothing. The back, he does have two pickles for his uh, backpack. Let's have this flap on his backside. It's really, really cool. So how well that fix with them, you know, if they wanted to sit in a seat. So there's some more actual uh, angles so we can see all the paint, all of the um, sculpt work detailing. I'm really liking these uh, skulls, and I think as all some of the future releases, we're gonna have a lot more of these skulls featured on other Marines. You can see the little red dot here on this gauntlet. Has one on this side also. Two peg holes in his feet. Okay, so for the articulation of the figure, 
the head has a side to side a little bit. She does look up. Much more back to stationary than down. And a 360 all the way around. But this has like this half collar piece here on the back, like right here. It goes um, to the other side of his head. It kind of gets in the way of his apparatus. But if you want to force that, I'm pretty sure you could get it. Or, you know, angle to a certain position like so. You know, but knowing that's there so you don't try to uh, force it too much and not realize it. Arms on a ball joint to rotate 360. Now, these shoulder pads are kind of are articulate. You can rock them back and forth. You pull them up, down. But these do hinder the ability to raise the arms a whole lot. That's about it on those. And then on that one. So we have a 360 rotation right here. Maybe in the middle of the bicep. Then we have a double jointed elbow. Which is fantastic, which will give you well past 90 degrees. The hands rotate 360. There is on a ball that kind of lets your hands go all around like this. On the joint, show how hard it is to come off. There's kind of that joint right there. It just kind of goes around the ball. Very easy. Now for his chest, Maybe upper ab is yeah, side to side. You can rock it. Um, a little ab crunch. Just on an ab crunch, maybe. Um, a good bit back. And of course, the rotation here at the bottom of his waist for 360. We have a split about that much. Right there just as an advice also know your range so you don't break nothing of your figures and your joints um, tolerances yes but pretty good right there you may be able to get a little bit more if you're going to risk breaking joints I'm not saying that these are bad materials it's just you don't want to be careful for expensive collectibles Double joint knee. Very nice. So the foot is kind of on an ankle. It rotates 360. We do have a down. A little bit of an up. You can get a side to side. And then we have toe articulation. Up like that. So very well articulated figures. Very good quality. When you first put these in your hand, you definitely can see that the quality is not cheap plastic or materials. This one is a little stiff, so I do recommend heating your fingers just a tad, just to get that factory cylinder right go, so we don't at risk of breaking anything. For accessories, first off, it does come with a, like a little uh, game card. It shows artwork of the character and his name on the bottom right corner. Looks pretty cool. On the back, it has some Chinese, which I cannot read, so I don't know what that says. It's a nice, decent card. Okay, for accessories, this is his backpack. Same color blue. Um, nice uh, looking sculpt. You do have some gunmetal colors here on the side. You do have these jetpack um, exhaust vents that rotate 360 all year round. So you can position them wherever you would like. We have a black and red dot there. Some vents. Very cool. On um, the top here we do have a camera type lens device. We have the red and the yellow lenses. And as you can see this thing does rotate 360. Wherever you want to place it. Now I just want to throw up some caution here. Beware of these two pigs. I've heard out through the community that people are breaking them. Because once you put them in they're very hard to get out. So in this case, you're going to want to just be very careful. Get in there all much as a grip as you can. And maybe rock it out a little bit side to side. And don't pull too hard. Just let it do its thing. And you won't have an issue. So just letting you guys know to be careful with that. And then once you have this pack on, you definitely can uh, 
adjust his uh, camera or his vents as you see fit. Looks really good on the character. I like it. He does come with a lot of accessories, which is great. The more accessories are the better. So next up we do have his weapon, his main weapon. This is an awesome sculpt. We have a gunmetal cross with some silver paint. They run together very nicely. So we have like a strap hole here on the back and a piece here on the bottom. It would be really nice if you put a strap on there. We do have a draw barrel and on the side looks fantastic. We do have a red lens on the front. Like I said, that draw barrel. Uh, this doesn't retain or anything. Uh, but what's really cool about this, you can remove the magazine. Very nice. And you put it right back in. As you can see, he can hold that weapon real nicely. The hand definitely uh, accepts the weapon, no problem. Got a nice grip on it. Finger, uh, trigger finger into the guard. Looks great. His joints are tall enough to where he can hold that large weapon up. No problem. And then you can bring it across his chest and bring his other hand over. And you can get a two-handed positioning. Of course, I did it quickly and you could probably get a better fit if you took the time. But for the review, I think that satisfies what we need to see. For such a large figure to begin to hold his weapon with those hands is uh, really fantastic. Okay, for his next accessory, he comes with a pistol that follows the same paint and design uh, up, uh, application. He does have the gunmetal and the silver and the same type of drilled barrel for the pistol through the side and through the front. Looks incredible. There is no clip to remove on this pistol but it's because it's like up inside. So it's a smaller type uh, weapon, but this is really detailed and fantastic. And it really goes wrong with the color pattern of his, his assault rifle. I like how that matches. It looks great. And here he is holding his pistol. Again, the hand accepts the uh, weapon very nicely. Things just flow and go what he's supposed to, like his trigger finger into the guard. Looks great. And as you can see with that double jointed elbow, he can get a really deep bend. So that's pretty cool. Now, for the pistols, we do get a case for the pistol, but it's more of a sculpted case. Fortunately, you cannot put the current pistol that he's holding into the holster here. But, because I think it'd be, it'd be a massive piece. I see what they did, but fortunately you have a lock here. There's just pegs on the side of his legs. You just poke those through. And then you get the illusion that he has a pistol holster for his pistol in his hand. Now, if you don't like that look, they do give you an alternate case with a pre-sculpted pistol inside. Now, this pistol handle matches the pistol he has in his hand, but you don't want to have a pistol in his hand. He uses an assault rifle. You can just give the illusion that he has it holstered. Looks really cool. Now, unfortunately, um, unless, it, unless it doesn't bother you, you can use both of these. But, but this one would be reversed. And he'd have his grip out towards the front. Versus, uh, you know, having it on the correct side there. But that's how that would look for you. So you have the option of doing that with some of the other accessories we're going to be taking a look at here right now.
one, probably one of the coolest accessories that come with this figure is these knives. The sleeves alone are incredible, black with the gold. And they have two gold skulls. They are connected. You cannot separate them. They're on one peg. But you can remove the blades. They're incredibly sculpted. Gives a real um, realistic feel to the blades. The way they, they're shaped. A little bit gold there on the handle top. Black handle on the bottom. Now for overall aesthetics. You would need to have to have... Um, yeah, they go on either side if you would like. So you can do it this way, you know, and then you can throw in the uh, pistol holster on this side if you would like, or you can swap it out. And I think I would like the uh, blades on this side just because it makes sense for the, if he's holding his pistol. You have that option if he's holding his pistol, along with his blades. Or, if you don't have him holding his pistol, you have the option of making it look like it's holstered, along with the blades on the other side. And then he would actually have the um, his larger assault rifle in his hand. Or, obviously, you could have nothing. He could just be hanging out. You know, waiting for combat. Pretty cool. Nice uh, modular. Not totally modular, but you get a little bit there. So it comes with this piece. I'm not totally sure what this is. Um, maybe a mind. I'm not totally sure. Maybe an advanced claymore. I'm not sure. But it's very well sculpted. It has a nice gunmetal color to it. It has a handle on it. It's very cool. And of course, you can get him to carry that just by putting it in his hand. Like so. Fortunately, it doesn't attach anywhere else. So he has to carry it. Still a pretty cool piece. Very nice. So you get two uh, sets of hands, alternate hands. You have these ones. These are open, kind of a trigger finger for the other side. A little tighter grip than it currently has on that hand. And then he has these really tight ones. I believe these would be more for the blades. You would definitely have to swap out the hands if you want him to do a knife fight. Should be very cool, and it's easy to swap them off. You just pop this off, pop these on, insert your blades, and there you go. All right, so that's about all we have for the accessories. Um, for price, um, I think these are still available if you want them from like the Chinese retailers. You could probably get them around 115 if you live in the United States and you want to get them from a U.S. retailer that you're used to. Um, if they are available, I'm not sure if they've made it to those retailers yet, but um, I think the 149 is the cheapest I've seen them in the uh, U.S. retailers. So you get a pack of four, you get all of the um, incursors in four blind boxes. You know, you can purchase them individually from, if you do live in China or other countries, um, that's how they do their marketing. But here in the United States, you're really not going to get them unless you buy them off of eBay as individual pieces. And that way, if you do buy the whole box set, you can get all four figures. You don't have to worry about buying extras because these really are not priced for blind box marketing. You didn't want to pay $25 numerous times trying to get that last figure you want. So if you buy the whole set for around, like I said, 115, which, and then plus you got shipping, and then you got the US like 150 boxes, they're markup plus shipping. So whatever's the best for you. Well, I do hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, these are fantastic figures. There were some amazing pieces coming from uh, Joy Toy and Warhammer 
uh, I recommend you guys go ahead and do your research and look at future sets coming up like the Blood Angels, the Space Wolves, and the Chaos Agents, I think they're called. Which those are fantastic looking. So if you guys enjoyed this review and you want to see more of these guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll be doing reviews for many more of the Joy Toy uh, Warhammer 40k figures. And um, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, like and share the video, and comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching, and we will see you in our next review.